Let's start right out. Hey, what happened? My parents, my mother had remarried after my father uh, passed away, so she sent me to a place called Kentucky Military Institute. When the selling point of that is it moved, it was in Louisville, Kentucky, Kentucky, but after Christmas, the whole school moved down to Venice, Florida for three months. And I said, that looks like the kind of place I'd like to go to. And let me explain a bit about what's going on. This is our monthly at ease weekend. It gives us a chance to kind of let down our hair, although I see you all have a head start on it. These haircuts wouldn't pass military muster, believe me. Although I shouldn't talk, I, my hair's getting a little shaggy too. Better not get too close to you, they'll think I'm part of the band. And then I uh, went into the army. At the time, it was, uh, you had to go in, it was, a, it was a draft. And I went in as an enlisted man because I didn't care for the military. And I said, I can't go in and give orders to people. So I served two years and I went to Germany. I played on the baseball team, got to travel all around Germany. Uh, so it was a great experience, but by this time, I didn't, you know, the, the military um, stuff <clears throat> I was fed up with. So when they asked me to do the spinal tap, I, I knew the military sensibility. Uh, even when I was a kid doing my impressions, and here's looking at you, babe, and uh, you don't care about anyone but yourself. <laughs> who is it? Henry Fond. I always have to tell her who I'm doing. She always laughs, but now who is that? I hate to sound like one of these serious actors. Uh, <clears throat> But when you're improvising, you can't just suddenly say, pull something out of left field. You, it's got to be in character. And also, <clears throat> uh, it's preparation. And then just say something. If you have nothing to say, just start talking. It's very important that all the attributes are examined. Uh, teeth, eyes, Runs ears, Ouch. gums. Am I seeing right? Where's she putting her hands now? Uh, she's just checking out the dog's uh, Testicular area oh. to make sure <laughs> uh, to make sure that uh, that everything is intact. Hate to go out on a date with Judge uh, Edie Franklin, have her judge me. That'd be no fun. This is, or I, I never want to be a teacher because I don't think you can teach acting or improv. It's different from stage improv, where the idea is to get up and someone throws you a subject. Oh, and, and you riff on it. It can be very funny, but <clears throat> in a movie you might be very funny, but you don't move the script along. It's like getting the first olive out of the bottle. So if a scene starts or you have nothing to say, say it, and uh, it'll turn into something else. But it has to be kind of in character. As you know, back in 1970, I started on a series called What Happened? And every time something would go wrong, I would look at the camera and say, Hey, what happened? <laughs> we had a lot of fun with that and a lot of other catchphrases. I got a real red wagon. <laughs> but every time you lose it, and every once in a while, every time I lose a job and I get upset and I say, Wait a minute, I lost a job, but some other actor gained a job. So being a magnanimous actor, I think that's the only way to go. Because I've gotten a lot of jobs at the last minute. People call me, can you start tomorrow? I said, uh-oh, someone fell out. And I uh, recognize Victor Allen Miller. How are you, sir? I'm fine, Chuck. Question How for you, you? Yeah. the Brady Bunch. What was your favorite character? Jan. Well, she's an attractive young lady. Mine was, I think her name was Alice, was that the it? Maid. She yes. was the maid, she was the glue that held the family together. Yeah, for a long time I've had the feeling that uh, if I'm not working, why aren't I working? Gee, this guy's working, this guy. And then if I get a call from my agent, I say, oh God, now I gotta get up at six in the morning and go do, do this thing. So that's, uh, that's the dilemma. I think the, the fun of, of work, acting is when you get the job. And you can tell everyone when I got the job. And then the reality comes. Oh, you're the worm! Yeah, I heard talk yeah. about you. I think I, I think I saw you. Oh, good. I hope you liked what you saw. Yeah, yeah, I sure did. Is that how you got to this size? Huh? I mean, did they make you this size just to fit in the worm costume? No, they made me this size when I was born. I was born. Oh, born so born you're a, a legitimate little person. Yeah, I'm not a fake little person. Oh, I, I see. I thought maybe they shrunk you down or something. You know, I, I hope when I'm 90, uh, or whatever, if I'm working, uh, I'm gonna have someone come around with a chair, sit down, late calls, early releases, and uh, do a commercial, do the job, and if someone says, come on, accept an award, say, okay, I'll do one, and that's it. Many a time I've been on a set and say, I don't wanna be an actor anymore. Then a month later, you'll look back and say, oh no, I want another job, I wanna do this.